Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with another zoo tour, but this one is going to be a little bit more special. This zoo is made by two amazing YouTubers, Zoof, previously known as Zoofluencer, who is an amazing plant zoo creator with incredible builds, and Lider, who is known for some incredible informative videos about how to create realistic habitats, but also in general, just extremely amazing habitat. These two guys put their lovely creativity together to create this amazing zoo and uh, I would definitely highly recommend you guys to sub to both of these guys because they are really worth it. They are super inspiring. Uh, so definitely go and check out their channels. I will make sure to put the link in the description down below of both of their channels. So we're going to check out Lesna Ozdaya Zoo. I hope I pronounced that right. But other than most zoos, this one is not like really a usable zoo like you would expect with other zoos, as this one also doesn't have normal habitat gates, for example. So what I've been told, they made like one big or like a few bigger habitats and animals are moved from there into the spots in the habitat they are supposed to be. So this also means that you can download the zoo yourself to check it out, but you are probably not really able to use this one as an actual zoo. But you can find the link in the description of this video if you do like to check this one out yourself of how these two created this zoo. And now without further talking, let's just go and jump into this one because I am very much excited for this one. So I've been told everything is made by the two guys except for like some cards on a parking lot. They are downloaded. Uh, so also this incredible detailed small sign. H how? Wait, how? How did you do this? What are these kind of pieces even? Okay, okay, God. Okay, this this is definitely one of the reasons why you want to check out a zoo yourself to see how they create everything because I'm not going to click all the pieces here to check this out. But man, this looks amazing already. Oh, I love this. Just these signs are incredible. Like, Zoo, he, he sent me a message being like, yeah, there are no billboards, like everything we make ourselves. And I was like, oh, okay. But I had no idea it was like this good. This is incredible. I love the entrance here, by the way. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is like a little parking lot. Oh, it looks so natural. I absolutely love this area. Wait, did I actually took like the wrong entrance maybe? Look at all these signs! Like this zoo took quite some time to load and I, I can see why. There are like so many small pieces. I absolutely love these signs already and we, we are not even in the zoo itself. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so promising. Okay, so we're gonna just go through here. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is this is what you mean. So you have like really realistic habitats with no actual keeper skate because the animals are moved to I don't know what kind of animal is in here. If there is an animal in here. Like if they are boxed, they're probably at the entrance again. But this this definitely gives like this whole different dimension to the zoo. Because you are not, you, you don't have to use the keeper skates. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this looks. I love this feeder. Wasn't it lighter that has like a collection of different types of realistic feeders that you can download and use in your zoos? Man, this looks so beautiful. I think it is. I, I forgot to download them myself still. But definitely worth checking out absolutely love it i really do hope that frontier is going to add this in their uh like in the game like as realistic feeders but man this looks so beautiful oh my god i actually did miss out on this map even that's just insane that you guys created these <laughs> Oh my god, I just, I'm in here for a few minutes and all I can say is, oh my god, these signs are just so amazing, but also these habitats are just so amazing. Absolutely love this feeder as well. 
That looks incredible, you guys. I do hear animals, but I don't really think there are animals in here. I'll also just notice how all these buildings are made with tiny little pieces, guys. Like what you can do in this game. Oh, there are doll sheep in here. Oh my god. Oh my god, absolutely love this. Also, something that I do notice is like the the <laughs> the part of realism of the size of the habitat, the size of the fences. I feel like you really paid a lot of attention to the realistic sizes. Am I am I right? I think so. I really do think so. It feels so realistic. Gosh, I absolutely love this. I am so amazed. Oh my goodness, look at these guys! <laughs> yes, this is exactly what kind of fences or gates you want to see in the game. Frontier, please! Give that to us. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this, guys. Oh man, this just looks so good. Wait, how did you do this flooring? Oh my god, wait, what? <laughs> These are the tips of, of... No! What? The tips of rocks. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is insane. I've never seen any zoo in that much detail like this. Like, these are all... Oh my goodness, I love this. This is so inspiring, but... Yet, yeah, so many pieces, I would never do this because my PC would fry. Imagine a city zoo with this amount of details. Ah, oh, but look how amazing this all looks. It looks so beautiful and natural. Oh my god. Oh, I absolutely love this aviary. This is such a cool way. Like, uh, what are these babies from? Are these the... Okay, the, the cassowary babies. That is so smart, actually. Like, I, I, I'm assuming that they are representing just a smaller bird instead of having, like, adult cassowaries in here. I absolutely love how you guys made this aviary. Oh, this is so inspiring. I really do like it. Like, I'm not a fan of, or, or like, I never do that on the channel, like, making implied habitats. Like, some people do that. But I'm like, I wanna, I wanna just make a habitat for an actual animal in the game. And this is definitely a really cool way of creating aviaries for birds that you have in the game. You probably would not really see an aviary for. But I absolutely love, love the idea of doing that with like, like baby cassowaries. Maybe even from the baby ostrich. I'm not really sure if that will be a thing, but. Like, why not? Uh, it, it, it makes sense in a way, like, t for solution. I absolutely love that idea. I, I, I think I'm just, I'm just going to steal that. Okay, so these are, look, these are just, these are baby pea fowls, aren't they? I think they are. Oh my goodness, you actually, are these the eggs that we got in the game? I want to know. I think they are. Yes, we have these prop eggs. And then what did you do? Oh my goodness, you actually made a real bird's nest with these white bird branches. Oh my goodness. I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to do that. Can we download this? <laughs> I absolutely love this. Guys, this is incredible. I really am a huge fan of this aviary. This is extremely inspiring. Why is this actually closed off? <laughs> Why am I not allowed to go there? Huh? <laughs> Tell me. Gosh. I really love the idea of this. Okay, so we gonna walk to this side. Oh, this is so cool, actually. I'm not really sure if this is like what you can you can play with, like I have water? I'm not really sure. Is it like... Oh, the, the sign probably... <laughs> it's probably telling us what it is, but we cannot read it. Tell us, what is this? What is this supposed to be? Is it like for kids to use or is it something else? 
gosh. I, oh my goodness, look at this, this water tank. Oh. I absolutely love this, you guys. Oh my god, we have another cage here. <gasps> is that like the baby ostrich? Is that a baby ostrich? It is, it is. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this little cabin. It's so adorable. Oh my god. I absolutely love the details in here. Okay, this one is definitely one you just want to download and want to see how everything is made. It's incredibly beautiful. I love the style. I love what you guys did here. This is absolutely amazing. I don't think there's an animal in here, but I really do like... Ah, oh, this is really inspiring how you use like these, these fences and stuff. You see guys, this is why you need to subscribe to both Zoof and Lighter because they are magicians in this game and this is just so ext oh, I love these nests. This is just so extremely inspiring for our own zoos. I absolutely love this. Oh my god, I hear worth hogs. You guys, no, it's not worth hog. It's a Bobby Rusa, but 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I also really like how you have like these two different fans. It looks so extremely natural. How this is put together. That looks so good. Oh, absolutely love this habitat as well. It's so realistic. Like, how did you guys do that? Look at this feeder as well, by the way. Oh my god. That is just so cool. I also really like these things around the trees. It's so really. Do you guys have like a package of like all these little things? Gosh, I would love to use those. This. Oh, I want to sit here. 10 out of 10. I want to sit here and enjoy the campfire. Just look at this building. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Frontier needs to add this. This is insane. I, c I can't get over the fact that these are tips. Of rocks, you guys. But man, what a what a what a difference this makes in like making this all feel more realistic. It's it's incredible. But I really do hope Frontier is, is looking at this because we could use like these these patches. Man, I'm not I just don't know what I'm seeing or what I'm looking at. It's so good. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's the that's the Alpine Ebex, right? Okay, yeah, there are no no signs in here, so I start to doubt myself sometimes, but so far it's so good. Oh my god, just look at this habitat. Look at the climbing frame. Like I, I don't think they are able to use it in this game, unfortunately, but this is what you would see in real life. It's incredible. Oh, I absolutely love this. Oh, and it's also, yes, of course it is. Oh my god, just <laughs> the amount of pieces in here. But it's so gorgeous. I can't get over this. It's it's so good. Holy cow. This is probably the most realistic zoo we have seen on the channel so far. It's amazing. I just want to sit here and just pat the Alpine e-bags. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Also just this, because this does this looks like one piece, but it's actually not. Oh my god, how did you even think of that? I can I can just walk around here for hours and just be so amazed by this work. Wow, I'm so impressed. It has like a lot of different entrances, doesn't it? I think so. I think this is a side entrance or something. Uh, is it like an actual, like some kind of park you would probably see? Like like a little, little zoo or, well, I'm not really sure if you can call this a petting zoo. But a little zoo in between like a, a park or like Central Park or something like that. It, it could, it could be something like that. 
really love these signs, guys. Wow, this is so gorgeous. But yeah, you can obviously tell this this would never be a zoo that you would be able oh, wow, to create. Oh, I love this as well. With like a franchise mode, for example, like like keepers would not be able to reach most of these habitats. I actually do think that this might just be one habitat. God, I have never seen anything like this before in Planet Zoo. It's so good. Oh, there's actually a box here. So if we would like unbox this one. Oh, it actually does unbox here? That is interesting. Well, maybe... Ah, it does unbox here. I actually did not think it would. I would actually expect it to box at the Keeper's Gate. But was this a Keeper's Gate then? Is there a Keeper's Gate hidden in here? There actually is! Oh my god, you actually hit it on the ground even? Like, partly? This is insane. Okay, okay, we should not look in this, on the inside of this building. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not ruin the immersion of this beautiful, realistic zoo. I'm amazed by this. I'm amazed by the amount of details here. It looks so incredibly beautiful. Also, this barn looks amazing. Gosh, I'm so jealous of the amount of details you are using in this zoo. It looks so beautiful and natural, but these pieces, if this would be a city zoo, like my zoo, as big as that, 10 out of 10, my computer would not be able to handle this. Gosh, this is so amazingly gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I think we already saw it. Like, it is so much detail that I don't really think you will be able <laughs> to continue this one much longer. Like, you are not even able to add guests in here. I don't think there are many paths. I, I don't think there are any paths. Everything is just looking really realistic. But, yeah, there are no guests able to walk here like obviously else you will be hiding all these knots from the natural path but that's just not really the case gosh this is so impressive you guys absolutely love this look it's, it's really tiny but it looks absolutely incredible i am just so impressed this is really inspiring but man you guys have such an amazing eye for detail absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Zoof and Lighter, for sending this suit to me to check out on the channel. Absolutely love it. This is definitely one of the most inspiring, realistic zoos we have seen so far on the channel. Now, one thing I, I do want to see. I, I want to see. What? Wait. Okay, this is the habitat. Uh, okay. And can, can we, like check the traversable area oh no we can't because the traversable area will just stop i do think it's one like this is one that is one like like the same way that i did inama zoo but that was like a few habitats is there like an overview i actually never look at it this way was there like an overview for the habitats habitats Okay, so there are four different habitats. That's one, that's two, three, and four. So it's actually more than I thought. But this is incredible. You guys are absolutely magicians in this game. Absolutely love this one. Thank you guys so, so much again for sending this zoo to me uh, to check out on the channel. Definitely, everyone, please go and check out Zoof and Lider on their YouTube channels. I promise you, their work is worth it. I, I think many of you already know these guys, but if you do not know these guys, please, please go and check out their channels. They are absolutely magicians in this game. So so 
they are worth checking out, definitely. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do let me know, of course, in the comments down below what you all think of this beautiful zoo made by these guys. Leave something nice for them in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.